Hello everyone, welcome to another in our 2020 Winston Cup Series race. I am into SC4 and bring you full coverage of today's race. This is chase number 4 and we're here at the Kansas Speedway here in Kansas City, Kansas for the running of the Banquet 400. And we're ready to go mile and a half race in here. RJ Bishop and Tim Fiegel will be on the front row. Let's get this race underway. Runners, start your engines! And that was the command to start the engines. Let's give you the top 10 starting lineup. How about your front, how about your top two, our chase drivers. RJ Bishop will start on the pole with Tim Fiegel in second. Start second. Joshua Mudd third. Tim Welch will start fourth. Row three, we have Charles Jackson and Trent Dunham. In row number four, we have Ricky Kennedy and um, Tyler Everest. And row number five, we have chase driver Zachary Lombard and William Cervantes. Last week's winner from Daytona. Dome Caps will start 14th. Points leader coming into this race. He has a 15 point lead over Caleb Phillips. He will start 22nd and problems for Danny Wells. Danny Wells in the 29 cars on the apron. And he starts 21st. And we were just talking about Jaron Calabinen. And Jaron Calabinen starts beside. Uh, Danny Wells so don't know what's going on with Danny Wells in that 29 car unfortunately not a good for him the lowest chase starter is Chris Darlington he was starting last but Danny Wells looks like he's gonna head to pit road at the start the pace car is off RJ Bishop and Tim Figgle will lead him down to the green flag here at Kansas and here we go green flag is out we're on the way here at Kansas six race Chase number four. RJ Bishop looks like he's going to lead the first lap. RJ Bishop is a chase driver. He came into this race 7th in the point standings. He is 36 back, so he still really needs to pick it up if he wants to win this championship. Tim Fiegel won the chase drivers. Looks like he's caught up on the outside. Outside Looks like both Penske drivers are stuck up there. There's Danny Wells. There's Danny Wells in the 29 car. He just got back on the track, but he is a lap down. So really don't know what happened with Danny Wells before the start. He came on the pit road before the start of the race. I wonder if he had a tire going down or something. I don't know. Top three has pulled away. Uh, RJ Bishop, Josh Munn, and Charles Jackson. Zachary Lombard up on the outside lane. This is about for the... Um, with the seventh spot, looks like Trent Dun Dunham's going to pass him. There's Tyler Everest there as well. Still side by side for the. Uh, this is for the uh, eighth spot right here. Look like we thought we had Bow for a second here, but nope. It looks like Zachary Lombard is still falling back. He started ninth, so he hasn't dropped positions, but... Okay, it looks like he's all clear from here now. Oh, battle for second here. Here comes Charles Jackson for the second spot. And that's going to help R.J. Bishop. R.J. Bishop is pulling away. Still side by side for the second spot. It looks like Charles Jackson will... No? Maybe? No, Joshua Mudd's got that good run on the outside lane. Tim Figo's trying to take the four spot away, but we're still watching this battle for a second. Looks like Charles Jackson will finally take it away from Joshua Mudd. But Joshua Mudd looks like not. Nah. Uh, it looks like the battle's over now. So Joshua Mudd will fall back to fourth. Third. My bad. However, is stuck up on the outside lane now. He's going to fall back to ninth, possibly for tenth. Tell you what, I believe Danny Wells is holding these guys up because just by looking at the lap times, let's look at the lap times here. I ain't the slowest driver out there. 
fastest driver is is, uh, is uh, Trent Dunham. Oh, battle for second. Here we go. Yep, uh, nope. Looks like we did have a battle for second, but it's not. RJ Bishop is pulling away, though, and we're about to reach 20 laps to go in this race. Like I said, RJ Bishop came into this race with 7th in the points, 36 points back. If he wants to win this championship, he needs to start being consistent now. Tim Walsh is going for the 3rd spot on Joshua Mudd. Joshua Mudd stuck up on the outside lane. Tim Figo going for 4th. Yep, Joshua Mudd still stuck up on the outside lane. And just can't get to the bottom of the racetrack. Looks like he may drop multiple positions, too. He was just in third. He may drop to, like, 10th. I don't know, guys. Ricky Kennedy going by him. Trent Dunham going by him. Zachary Lombard now caught up to the outside lane. Let's go back through the field. And uh, there's Danny Wells. He's a lap down. Let's go back through the field. Where is our points leader coming into this race? Uh, it looks like he's way back in the field. There is... Uh, that is uh, Jaron Calabinen. And Jaron Calabinen, he came into this race as the points leader. He came into this race with a 15-point lead over Caleb Phillips. And it looks like uh, Jaron Calabin has fallen back to the 32nd spot. And it looks like he's still going to drop positions as he's stuck up to the outside lane. Caleb Phillips that uh, Caleb Phillips was came into this race second in the point standings. Jaron Calabin is falling back to 33rd. Where's Caleb Phillips? There he is. Wow, look at this battle. Wow, three wide back here. Uh, Caleb Phillips came into this race second in the points, just 15 points back at Jaron Calabin. He is 21st. Looks like he's going to pick up more right here, too. In a three-white battle. Nice three-white battle. Look at uh, Mike West shoved up to, all the way to the outside lane. He's one of the chase drivers. Joseph Lombard's there in the mix. Ryan Richards. Jesse Kohler. Let's go back up towards the front. Looks like the first four cars spread it out. Has pulled away. There is Bruce Viviani going for the sixth spot on Trent Dunham. Dylan Young and Zachary Lombard is there. Following right behind him. Joshua Mudd did fall back to the 11th spot. So it looks like we have reached the halfway point of this race, folks. How about let's give you a chase driver's rundown here. RJ Bishop is the leader of this race. He's led every lap so far. He's trying to improve on the on gaining in the points Saints to try to win this championship. He came into this race 7th in the points. Uh, 36 points back of Jaron Calabin, the points leader. He's trying to get a win today. Uh, how about Tim Figgle running 4th? Came into this race 6th in the points standings. Uh, 23 points back of Jaron Calabin, the points leader. Strong run so far in the top five. He's got to win this season at Michigan. If he wants to win the championship, he's got to improve on his finishing positions. Uh, after this race, will be six races to go. If he wants to win this championship, he's got to improve. Zachary Lombard in the eighth spot right now. He is, he's got two wins this season. Watkins Glen and Richmond. Uh, not the, not the chase he's been wanting for. He's actually last in the chase standings in 12th. Uh, he's just, uh, uh, 76 points back out of first place. And, uh, unfortunately, if he doesn't start doing anything now and get these consistent top, uh, top 5 or top 10 finishes, he's not going to be a threat for the championship. Don't think he would, and be quite honest with you. Caleb Phillips is running in the 16th spot. He came into this race second in the points stage, just 15 points back of Jaron Calabin. He is 16th in, in the 16th spot. Jaron Calabin 31st, so it, 
If things goes right for Ke uh, Caleb Phillips, looks like he could possibly be the new points leader after this race. How about Ryan Richards in the in the 20 car, running in the 23rd spot? He started out the chase real well, getting the win at a. Oh wait, yeah, he started off the chase really well. He's got two wins this season. He was actually the points leader starting the chase with his two wins, but he he's now fifth in the point standings, just 20 points back from points leader. So, Chase's been going well for him so far. I don't know about this race, but he's fallen to 24, so not a good day for him. Ryan Marin came into this race. He's right now 25th. He came into this race uh, 40 points back in the 8th spot in points. Uh, if he doesn't start picking up now, he's not going to be a threat for the championship. Chris Dollerton is 3rd in the point standings coming into this race. Also... 15 points back from Jared Calabin. Actually, both Caleb Phillips and Chris Dollerton were tied for the for second in points. Uh, Chris Dollerton started last. He's moved his way up to 26 as of now. Jared Calabin came in as the points leader, and uh, right now he's running in the 30th spot. Unfortunately, if he uh, if he does not pick up the pace in the final few laps, he probably possibly won't be the points leader coming out of this race. Mike West, he's got two wins this season, California and Pocono, but unfortunately right now he's 32nd, he came into this race 4th in the point standings, 16 points back out of the points lead, so not a good day for him as well. Justin Perry running 37th, or 39th now, he came into this race 11th in the points. Uh, 63 points back out of the points lead. And the lowest chase driver, folks, or not now anymore, is Cole Daly. He is running in the 40th spot. He came into this race ninth in the point standings, 40 points back. And so uh, Cole Daly is the low, or now Justin Perry is the lowest chase driver right now. And Brian Pashnek is, in, is the last car in the lead lap. Danny Wells, where is he? Danny Wells is a lap down that 29 car. If he wasn't a lap down, he could have been running 11th right now. But unfortunately, he is a lap down. Well, let's go back up to the front because we got six laps, uh, six laps to go this time by. And RJ Bishop has pulled away to a three tenths of a second lead. What is it going to be this time? Uh, it looks like uh, Charles Jackson has pulled it a little closer. So RJ Bishop, the highest chase driver. Looks like he looks like he could have a shot at a win today here at Kansas. He started on the pole, he's led every lap so far, and has the best shot at the win today. He came into this race seventh in the point standings, 36 points back. And now just with five laps to go, he is still ahead of Charles Jackson. Let's see at the line. Wow, looks like Charles Jackson has closed it in on RJ Bishop. I don't know if Charles Jackson's got enough for him though. But it looks like Charles Jackson is closing in, so we don't know. This race is not over. Charles Jackson, Charles Jackson could still have a shot at him. Tim Welch and Tim Fiegel is not far from behind. Tim Fiegel is the second highest chase driver in the race right now. It looks like Charles Jackson, Charles Jackson is better going in the corner, but R.J. Bishop pulls it away coming off. Four to go. It looks like Charles Jackson has closed it in another tenth. We don't know, folks. We'll see. Uh, Tim Walsh is right behind Charles Jackson trying to take the uh, second spot away. If those two get side by side behind RJ Bishop, then Bishop's got this win. He's got it. Unless something, he has a problem. Three to go. Remember, Charles Jackson was leading with three laps to go at Michigan. All of a sudden, he had a problem. It's never over until it's over, so anything could still happen. But this could really help out um, R.J. Bishop today if he can get this win. He can go from seventh to, like, third or fourth in the points. Tim Fiegel, it'll help him out a bit, too, because he came into this race six in the points standing, so it'll help him out with a good top five finish as well. Two laps to go this time by. R.J. Bishop out front with two to go 
Charles Jackson has closed it in, but I don't think Charles Jackson has anything for him. I don't know, folks. Coming to the white flag this time by RJ Bishop in that seven car taking the white flag. Does he have enough or can Charles Jackson get somehow by him? Get a good run and get by him somehow. I think RJ Bishop's got this unless he has a problem. But he's clear sailing from here. Down the back straightaway for the final time. RJ Bishop. What a dominating performance today. He came into this race 7th in the chase standings. He is not going to give up on not winning. He's not going to give up on winning this championship. Off of turn number 4, RJ Bishop in the 7th Serious Dodge will win the Banquet 400 here at Kansas Speedway. Charles Jackson 2nd, Tim Welch 3rd, Tim Figo 4th, and Tyler Everest will round up the top 5. Congratulations to RJ Bishop on winning the Banquet 400 here at Kansas Speedway. And folks, where is Jaron Calabitton? He came into this race as the points leader. There he is. Jaron Calabitton will finish in the 29th spot. Uh, Caleb Phillips finishes in the 15th spot. So it's going to be close on who's going to be the points leader. So we don't know who's going to be the points leader after this race now. But disappointing day for Jaron Calabitton. Finishes 29th today. But once again, congratulations to... Where is he? To... Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> where? God damn it. R.G. Bishop. There he is. Alright, so let's check the race results here. So R.J. Bishop wins. Charles Jackson second. Tim Walsh third. Tim Fiegel fourth. Tyler Everest fifth. Bruce Viviani sixth. Trent Dunham seventh. Dylan Young eighth. Zachary Lamar ninth. And Ricky Candy rounds up the top ten. Joshua Mudd finishes 11th. Joseph Lombard 13th. Caleb Phillips 15th. Zoe Mudd 19th. And Jesse Cola rounds up the top 20. Joshua Baldwick is 21st. Steve Gonzalez 23rd. Chris Dalton that started last. He ends up 24th. Ryan Richards 25th. Ryan Marin 26th. Jesse Ogin 28th. Jerry Calabin 29th. Mike West rounds up the top 30. Seth Cole 31st. Um... Dylan Poteet, 35th. Don Caps, 36th. Justin Perry, 38th. Um, um, Cole Daly, 39th. Cole Daly is the lowest chase finisher with a 39th place finish today. Brian Pashanek finishes 40th. Nick Piombo, 41st. And Danny Wells had a problem before the start of this race. He was going to start 21st. He ends up one lap down in last place. So, folks, the next race is going to be at Lowe's Mother Speedway in Concord, North Carolina for race... 31 of 36 and for chase race number five for the running of the UAW GM quality 500 folks We will see you at Charlotte now. Let's check the chase standings